Howdy. This, this is a little more crowded than my shop. <laughs> that shop? Yeah. Alright, this is uh, Provincetown Welding Studio, uh, 3 Bradford Street in Provincetown, Massachusetts. The shop's been in operation for about 80 years, started by Clarence Casurgis, uh, then run by his son Michael. I'm Adam Howard, I'm a friend of the family. I'm operating it now because of health issues in the family there. But uh, the shop's been here for 80 years as a working machine shop, a blacksmith shop, uh, art space. And before it was a metalworking studio, it was part of the fishing industry. I have a photograph inside I can show you, yeah. uh, which is, um, here, let me grab it real quick. The building goes back to about 1850 or so. And uh, this is us here. Sorry about the glare. And over here where the park, the playground is now is all fish uh, fish flakes for drying cod going all the oh, way down. Yeah, dried yeah. salt cod. Yeah, so this place was an ice house and a uh, salt house for... This is the building was right here. Yeah, that's where you are. And wow. this is 1870. So we've been oh, around for a while. That's a long time. And hopefully we'll keep going. This is and, so cool. Uh, we do everything here from repair work, fabrication, custom custom work, uh, you name it. If whatever comes in the door, fix it, make it, weld it. So where is it. where is your workbench that you do most of your work? Is that the forge that you have back yeah, here? Yeah, uh, the forge is where I'm primarily a blacksmith, so I do most of the uh, hot work, forge work in there. Could you show me look, the <coughs> forge? <coughs> how, kind of how it works? Yeah. It's not lighted right now, but the, the firebox is here where we burn in soft coal. We get the iron up to about uh, a good yellow heat, which is about 17, 1800 degrees. Okay. And then it's forged by hand on the anvils. Uh, and that's the hammering yeah, and the variety of tongs to hold the metal. Uh, what's next to it is just a, a, a heater. Looks like a boiler. Well, it was, but it's, we burn uh, coal and wood in there in the winter time. Oh, I see. That heats the whole building, huh? Well, it, most of it. This is the way things were done traditionally, and then as time moved on, machinery came into place, lathes and uh, milling machines and all kinds of things like that. And that's a South Bend, that's, yeah. gosh, got to be like a... Probably goes back to about the 1930s, I think. Yeah, and you can see it cast in the... Yeah, in that the way, there. that, well, I can't even tell you what that weighs. It's, it's big, it's heavy, and it's not yeah. going anyplace. You have to take a wall out to get it out of here. Yeah. But... Uh, I mean, we have, you know, there's compressors and all kinds of stuff that we that we use uh, for pneumatics and uh, air and stuff like that. Uh -huh. um, Get a lot of stock. Yeah, I mean... Uh, Mostly steel. Yeah. Once that gets up to air pressure, then you can hear we got leaks, you know. Mm -hmm. But if, if this we can stop this leaking, this hammer here will run. This is a uh, pneumatic wow. air hammer, so this hits with a lot of force. And, and that's when you want to shape. Uh, well, when you want to really move material, because otherwise I got to do it with, by hand with a sledge. Oh, something really big and heavy. Yeah. So I mean, I can draw something out. I'll show you this. This, for instance. Yeah. Take you out here. This um, the serpent I forged. This was a one inch square bar. And you can see that I draw it, hammered it down. Get a kink. Yeah, I hammered it down to that out of one inch square. So that's a long taper. And then for the head, what I did was I bent it around back on itself, welded it by hand. So it actually is double thick. And he's actually got a face on it. And yeah, and then I cut the face into it with chisels and punches. So that's all blacksmith work. That's all hand in hand. So, uh, it's brutal. It's brutal. So yeah, so here we are. That's a dragonfly. That's every time I look away and look back, I see like ten things I didn't notice. Before. Oh yeah, I can, I've been here for a couple of years, and every day I see something I haven't seen before. <coughs>
You got a bridge port. Yeah, that milling machine, I got a, it's missing a, a, a handle on it. I, I gotta get that bit out. I didn't see that one until it started spinning.